Hello once more. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is a problem under hydraulics, an example. What I try to do here is to solve a problem on uh, hydraulics. On my previous video, I uploaded the notes which is based on where, where I derived the formulas that you use to solve the problem in hydraulics. There's a little bit theory there. So if you haven't watched the previous video, make sure that you watch it before you attempt to solve the problem here on your hydraulics. But if you are familiar with hydraulics, then you can uh, use your knowledge, you can use your knowledge to check and align it without solving the problem uh, in my uh, in my example here. Now, brothers and sisters, what as you can see, I have a very limited space. Uh, to write my notes so what I've done this is just one example I've just underlined your data I won't write my data down, but I've just underlined it with, uh, you could see they just uh, discuss this example now this is only one example which is taken from one of the past papers this is your N4 hydraulics but it's similar to any other level of your mechanical engineering now they say you have an effort of 210 newtons, which is applied in a lever. So if you underline your effort, it is 210 newtons. You write your data down, you write your uh, 210 newtons. Uh, and then they say the stroke length is 120 millimeter. I've underlined the length. So this is a, a distance of data plunger moved from top to bottom. It's 120 millimeter. This MA is standing for mechanical advantage of a lever. So we are giving the mechanical advantage is 18. You write it down into your third item. Diameters of a plunger uh, and your rem is 110 and 209 respectively. So you write down your 110 diameter of a plunger, 290 diameter of your rem. You write all these data that have underlined. Uh, and then once you write your data down, you check the formulas that you have. You check what they ask. Let's check what they're asking. 1.1, determine the mass of an object lifted by the rem. If the efficiency is like three. So if they have efficiency, they make sure you, you incorporate your, your efficiency in your calculation. So you're giving an efficiency of 93. You add it in your data. You have an efficiency of 93 on 1.1. So you write all your data down with 93. Then you go to your equations. Since they want a mass, which equation you can use to find the mass of a that is being lifted by the rem? That means they want your W, your load, but your load will have it as a force. You need to convert your force to a mass. So you have your equation, which is force of a, a rem over force of a plunger is equal to diameter squared of a rem over diameter squared of a plunger. If you check the formula, this is a formula that has a mass. Of a, this is a formula that has a mass of a of a of a rem. So you need to get that force and then you convert it to a mass. Now, if you check on that force, you will see that you do have a diameter, but you don't have a force of a of a of a plunger. That means before you calculate the weight uh, lifted by the rem, you first need to get a force uh, of a plunger. Now you check your formulas again. Which formulas now you can use to get a force of a plunger? Since they gave you an effort and the mechanical advantage, that means you can use the formula for mechanical advantage, which is the force of a plunger divided by your effort. And then you get the force of a plunger, you put it to your to your uh, to your formula for your weight. Now I'm just trying to give you the approach that you use when you solve your problem on your hydraulics. You have all your equations down. You check what you have. You check what you, uh, what is required. What you need to calculate, and then once you see what you need to calculate, check if you have all the items. If you don't have all the items, check what is it that you can use on top of what we are given to get what you don't have, so that you can use it to get what you want. So you they won't trick you that it cannot be solved unless there is an error. There should be an equation that can help you to solve your problem. Now, let us solve this problem. So, we need to get the force of a plant and then we go and use the formula for the weight to calculate our... Uh, so, you're giving a mechanical advantage. That means, under 1.1, 1 .1, you will say mechanical advantage 
is equal to force of a pleasure over effort. The general advantage is 18 is equal to force of a pleasure. Remember, I keep it inefficient, so you will add 100 over efficient. So this will be multiplied by 100 divided by your effort is 210 multiplied by 93. You need an out, your output force of a pleasure. So let's calculate what we get there. It's 3, 5. So that is the force of a plunger. Once you have your force of a plunger, you now put this uh, your equation for the weight that you are looking for. So weight of a ram over force of a plunger is equal to diameter squared of a ram over diameter squared of a plunger. So you're looking for a weight divided by 3515.4 is equal to 290 squared over 110 squared. You get your weight. Two four four three three point four eight three newton. It is your weight. Now, the weight of a ram, they need it as a mass. So now your only uh, a way that you still need to do is to convert this weight into your mass. Which, so this is just general. Uh, your weight will be equal to mg. So you have. Two four four three three point four eight three equal to the mass you are looking for times nine point eight. Then you get your mass. Bit number one. So the lot of work was here. Remember to put your efficiency. Since your effort is your input, that means your force of a pleasure should be on output. You want an out your output force. Now, for 1.2, they want the number of pumping strokes. Uh, from this equation, volume displayed by a pleasure times number of stroke is equal to Volume move by rem. So this you should remember. This is this is one equation. This is the only formula sheet, and then it has times hundred over efficiency. In case you have your, if in case you are giving you your efficiency, you have this form equation of formula sheet. Now, if you can now replace this equation, this would be your area pi d squared over four times diameter uh, squared of your plunger times distance moved by the plunger, which you are given. This is the distance moved by the plunger. This will also be pi d squared over 4 times distance moved by the ram. Meaning this equation, if you want to make a number of strokes, pi over 4 times pi over 4, then you can have number of stroke is equal to d squared h over d squared h times 100 over efficiency. I advise you to memorize this equation. If you want a number of strokes, you can uh, straight away use this equation to solve your problem. Now, your number of pumping strokes will be 290 squared times the distance that is moved. They say it's 410. If it moves 410 times 100 divided by 110 squared times depth of a plunge is 120 times 93. 
the educational number of pumping stroke. Twenty-five comma five three four strokes. Take number of strokes is twenty-six strokes. That's it. So uh, it is how you calculate your number of strokes. You just have to record that equation. So this was an example on your hydraulics. You have many other problems uh, in a different format. The only thing you need to do now is to analyze this example which I gave you and then you can do your own exercise or if you want any additional problems then I can you can just check me on a section box I will supply you with more problems that you can uh, practice to solve a pro, uh, to solve your hydraulics uh, also uh, if you enjoyed my video please do subscribe do recommend it to other students who are willing to study, uh, who are doing maintenance, or who are willing to, who are doing mechanical engineering and they want the basics of your hydraulics and all that. Thank you so much. My next video will be.